At the Gwell School, only Horsk in Carlow, Ireland, where lessons are taught in Irish, they are leading the world in the use of 3D technology for the learning support of gifted children. These children who, at a conservative estimate, make up 5% of the entire school population, are taking part in a pilot programme devised by the school in conjunction with Irish software company Janev and giftedkids.ie, a charity specifically set up to advocate for provisions to be made in the educational system and elsewhere for the needs of gifted children. This is the first time that this technology has been used to teach part of the school curriculum. The interactivity and detail of the 3D technology means that anything you can do or build in the real world can be replicated in this virtual world. The technology itself is based on OpenSim, which is an open source version of Second Life. It has been adapted by the team at Genov in such a way that children are only limited by their imaginations as to what they can come up with and what they can do in this collaborative and secure space. It is an easy to use learning tool where gifted children can engage with school subjects such as history, maths, science, and also have access to a powerful creative environment that they can share with their peers. Um, it's quite interesting and it's nice to be able to interact with the things that you make up. <laughs> It, it was very easy to get started with because it, uh, making the blocks and all is very simple. Well, we had built, we're building a big town that's a kilometre up in the air and it's, and you have to teleport there because it's impossible to fly to. You can, there are lots of different ways you can use it. You can use it for geography, geometry, mathematics and, um, because where, wherever you put a block there are coordinates for it and you can use mathematics to work out where everything is meant to go but it's still not it's still um it's still ver very much up to you it's not um it's not difficult to use but at the same time you'd learn a lot from it well i think Dana is a very good site cuz not only can i talk to my friends on it we also can work together to create a whole city and you can you can change anything in it to your liking. First it's loads of buildings and we all have our houses with beds and everything and then together in the middle of the town there's a chessboard um, with all the pieces and in the town centre which is surrounded by basically the whole city. So it's not only being able to build and use your imagination, it also helps your computer skills, being able to um, work the mouse, type quicker, learn um, different uses of it. As important as it is to acquire knowledge and practical skill, the Gifted Kids Virtual World technology also acts as a vital communications tool for the children when they are away from the school. We talk to each other on this most of the time, it's kind of like our email. Um, yeah, to talk it would be quite handy and um, just to say if you were building bigger things then um, you can kind of give instructions like you work on one half and I'll work on the other. But I wasn't very familiar with the computer before this and then I kind of got the hang of it and um, kind of learnt to... Um, some maths which then brought in architecture and things because you have to make them the right size and um, for them to fit onto each other properly. And, yeah. Well, not maths, but it's not exactly trial and error either. Say if you're building a roof for a house, if you have to kind of remember the figures as well, you know, and sometimes you have to add them up to figure out how high you want it to go. Right. And it, there's no calculator in it, so it's kind of your head and a piece of paper. We start off with one plan, like, and we then change it as we go along. We find cool shapes and put them here and there, and then make these really, they turn out really cool, so we don't delete them, like, we keep them. One person could start it, and a, a completely different person could change it, and it's cool to see how it works out like that. The shapes we make, but the textures, most. Quite a lot of them come from the internet. There's a good view from the internet. My favourite thing would be interacting with others and um, just seeing how things turn out, like going around the island and 
looking at everything that we have built so far, it's just our progress from the start to the near the end. There's a chessboard there, you see. I was I'm playing a game with Orrin, and wait a sec, I'll just tell him I have to go. Look, there are different houses. When Orrin saw my, mine, he he liked the idea, and so we both started building houses. This is my first one. You see all the lines there? Mm -hmm. They weren't <clears throat> there initially, but I decided that since it was being used more as a hub for the whole town than as a house, I decided that would make it well a bit, maybe a bit easier to um, navigate through. But I think it's only made it harder. If it goes into other schools, um, then I think they that they'd be lucky, wouldn't they? We were lucky to um, get to use it first, but and it's very good. Look, if you look at the map, you see how much we've done. Right. Look, looking at all of that, all of that is building. So you can meet and uh, you don't need to be in school to um, meet other people on it, and you you can meet and you can. Um, show off what, you, what you've what built so far. The pilot programme is expanding and very soon 20 schools in total will be involved. The software is made freely available to schools but sponsors are needed to pay for server and administration costs. 3D technology has moved from the gaming console to the classroom and is facilitating the education of our gifted children. One can only imagine the possibilities if it were made available for all our children.